Good evening. The Concord Township Board of Zoning Appeals meeting for February 12th, uh, 2020 is now in session. I would like to introduce my board. To my uh, far left is Skip Sweeney and Brandon Dines. I am Yvonne Valentic. To my right is Blair Hamilton. To our far right is Heather Freeman, our zoning inspector. Under the voice of counsel, we ask that anyone speaking tonight must be sworn in. So please, uh, if you plan on speaking, stand and raise your right hand. Okay, do you swear that the testimony you're about to give will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? So I'll make God, if so, say I do. I do. Thank you, please be seated. Um, this evening when presenting your case, uh, come up to the microphone and state your name and address and confirm that you've been sworn in. Heather, were the legal notices published in a timely manner? Yes. Great, we have um, one old business, one new business variance tonight. Three vote majority is required to either approve or deny a variance. Um, first is old business, which is appeal number 2018-41, Mr. Randy Viviani of 7757 Concord LLC is requested that that continue to be shelled and we holding on that one still? Do they reach out, Heather? Uh, we They're continuing? continuing that again. We are gonna continue yeah. again, okay. All right, then for new business, we have <coughs> variance number 2020-56. Western Reserve Community Development Corporation is requesting a variance from section 15.02A for table 15.02-1 to allow an existing building to be used for both administrative office space and a dwelling unit, which is neither a permitted or conditionally permitted use in the R1 residential district for the property located at 9920 Johnny Cake Ridge Road. Please come to the microphone and state your case. Uh, good evening, I'm Maureen Dolan. I'm here on behalf of Western Reserve. Community development, we're a nonprofit in the area, has been around for about 30 years. Um, we help people um, repair their homes. We help seniors make their homes safer. We uh, have about 11 houses of affordable housing that we rent to people of low to moderate income, so they live in a nice and safe house. And uh, recently, uh, in 2018, we merged with New Directions for Living uh, which has also been around about 30 years. Uh, they started out as semi-independent living and uh, changed their name to New Directions for Living and they people, help people coming out of uh, bad situations like homelessness, drug addiction, um, um, abuse. Uh, they've been through programs and now they're starting to transition back to the normal mainstream life. They're employed and they can avail themselves of um, guidance and social services through our agency. Uh, what we are doing is uh, in the merger in 2018, um, we, New Directions had formally been located at 9920 um, through um, a gift of St. Gabriel saying we'd love you to help, you are helping people, we help, we reach out and help people. They had New Directions have their administrative offices there. That was the old St. Gabriel's uh, priest home, which in a sense, you know, was the parish rectory. It was where the priest lived is also where they probably did a lot of their had meetings in business also. But the priest in 92 got a uh, new home or 93 across the street where St. Gabriel's parish is. And um, it continued as an apartment for somebody in the semi-independent living program and also as the headquarters for that organization. Um, so in 2018, New Directions for Living merged with Western Reserve Community Development and um, they moved um, to uh, downtown Painesville in the credit union building. But really, you know, it's a hard time for nonprofits and we have to save money and consolidate and Father Fred again offered that we could come back to the rectory, to St. Gabe's and um, have our administrative offices there. We're very small. We have one full-time, two part-time um, employees, and we have one volunteer, and we have a board. Actually, I'm joined here by Gwen Corbin from our board, and Mary Hada is the board president. And, um, you know, we just run a, it's a lot of paperwork. Our 
program administrator meets with clients who are trying to improve their homes to make sure they have all the paperwork signed and then she submits it to the county. It's a very quiet business and we would love the opportunity to go there and run our operation out of there. I don't know what else you would like to know. Or any questions? Um, anyone have any questions? Who, who would be living, actually living on the premises? Well, say they, people have been living. There's a couple that lives there, uh, a young couple who's been through some recovery programs. Mm -hmm. They live there with the, in the back section that was, it's you know separated from ours, it's locked off, um, um, with their daughter. And um, usually our clients live in a, a situation like that for 18 months, and then they move on to something totally independent. Okay. Yeah, and this is one of your clients? Yeah, the, they, yeah they've been there uh -huh. even when we've been gone. Yes, St. Gabe's let us use that apartment. All right. wow. And our, our, off, um, our old documents, Old, older documents are located there now because there weren't enough room for them. So I spend a lot of time there if I have to look up stuff about property liens or stuff that we have to find out or mortgages or if people owe us money from work done years ago. So, mm -hmm. but it's a lot of paperwork and. Is the traffic, I wouldn't imagine traffic would, or, or the, the in and out would be very much No, involved. no. Yeah. I mean, it's, there's the business park, you know, that's pretty far away. And then you come up to the Gabriel's Wings, as the sign says there. That's the building I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. And there's a very big driveway. I think you have the diagram. Yeah. There's a lot of parking spots. You know, you can just wait. If you can't see, uh, you know, opportunity to turn, <coughs> just wait. I mean, there, it isn't a lot of traffic there, so. Okay. And we don't really have a lot of traffic coming in. Sometimes, we, you know, we have clients that come in one or two a day, maybe. You know, sometimes we go out to the clients. Uh, the social work is, uh, goes out a lot also on the road. But, you know, needs an office and a space to meet with people. Okay. And the, um, the adjacent properties, uh, at least to, I guess that's the southeast, is also owned by the church? Over across, the, that's the, they're the, the convent's owned by the church, the Diocese of Cleveland, actually. Right. And then across the street is the school, and the church, okay. and then the property next to us, 9930, I think, is the business park, the Concord Business Park. Right. It's pretty big right, right. there. Yeah. Okay. But, um, and the property right. south is owned by the diocese <coughs> as well. Yes. The yes. property directly next to this property. Yes, right. that's the, con the old convent, yes. Right. Some sisters live there. Okay. And that's I any questions? No. <clears throat> okay, you're good? Yeah, we're good. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Is there um, anyone else speaking for or against this appeal that would like to come up and present their case? Okay. If there's no further questions, a public hearing for application number 2020 56. Hey, Mr. Just, Chairman? Yes. Just for the record, you should probably, so she has <coughs> written down there, ask if anyone's against the proposal. Okay. Is there anyone here that's either against the proposal as well? They'd like to come up. Okay. Um, there's no further questions. The public hearing for application number 2020-56 is now closed to the public. I will um, get a motion. Can I have a motion to approve variance 2020-56? So moved. Second. All right. Um, discussion for the board? Any, no, everyone's on board, okay. Um, uh, question is on the approval of variance number 2020-56. So a yes vote approves the variance and no vote denies it. Heather, please call the vote. Mr. Sweeney? Uh, yes. Mr. Dines? Yes. Mr. Dines? Yes. Mr. Dines? Yes. Mr. Hamilton? Yes. And Mr. Valentic? Yes. Your variance has been approved, thank you. Um, Next on the agenda is the approval of minutes from December 11th, 2019. Um, is there a motion to approve the, oh, any changes or revisions to the minutes? No, nothing. Nope. No, I have nothing. Nothing. Um, can I get a motion to approve the minutes as written? So moved. Second. Second. Um, uh, the 
question is on the approval of the minutes from December 11th, 2019. A yes vote approves the minutes, a no vote does not. All in favor? Aye. Aye. I'll abstain. Okay, the minutes are approved as written. Our meeting, our next meeting is March 11th, 2020. Um, the meeting for tonight is not closed. Thank you. Okay. You weren't at that.